Hello, hello! Vlard here with Lively Bends the Tail, the Cloud of Darkness Raid Shinryu fight. We're bringing a team of Sherlotta, Xdeath, and Gallif. Before we get too deep into it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, ring that notification bell, leave a comment down below, and enjoy! This, uh, this team might look familiar. It, uh, it's basically a worse version of the team that I used for the Dare to Defy, replacing Ramza, a good unit, with Xdeath, a Copium unit. <laughs> um, still works out okay, you know, at the end of the day, Xdeath is a perfectly fine and functional unit who I uh, am definitely not regretting the green for. Um, but he gets the job done, it's just, you know, he does it worse than, like, Ramza does, who is you know, an older unit and a better unit. But anyway, um, or whoever else we, you, know, you want to bring here. Um, I also wanted to give a quick shout out the live stream, our weekly Defo talk show thingy that we do every Monday night on Twitch. I, when I say we, I mean myself, Raw Life, and Leaf Blade Mouse. Um, is celebrating its one year anniversary. It's uh, it's one year old. It's a happy birthday to the live stream. We're gonna have a little celebration on Monday. So if you're watching this and you uh, you wanna maybe uh, you got a Monday evening free, come by come by our Twitch. The the I have the link in the description. We're gonna be you know, there's gonna be cake. Special guests, surprises, who knows? Uh, I think it's going to be a real good time, so I look forward to seeing you there. Um, so, with that out of the way, what do we got going on here? Um, so this fight, it's kind of an interesting fight I'm finding, having played around with it a bit more. Because you th you'd think, selling Cloud of Darkness, it'd be a delay fight, you know, a zero boss turn, don't let the bosses act, you know, hit him with the delays, fight. And you gotta hit them with the delays, right? You know, they, they got the threshold where you need to delay them. But honestly, in practice, it's more of a counter tank fight because um, they take a shit ton of turns, like a whole bunch of turns. Um, as you know, they're by this point probably their force effect and their force time, their force gauge, their whole their force mechanic is they get faster and you get slower, and so they're just gonna be taking more and more and more turns. And they have a set AI pattern basically of they go uh, tail tail swipe tail. Drill, tail drill, I think it's called. That's the, you know, they lower their max hit points with it. Just a brave attack lowers your max hit points. Then they hit you with the scissor grab, and that's the, the kill you move. And then they hit you with slime, which is just some generic debuffs. And that, we don't care about slime. But uh, scissor grab can be really dangerous if you don't bring mitigation. Uh, and I mean something like really beefy mitigation there. Uh, it does a lot of damage. So that just means, you know, you bring your Gallop, you bring your Zac, you bring your Auron, you bring your defensive mitigation, your tanks. Um, Ideally a counter tank, because they take a lot of turns, and the fight becomes a lot more manageable. So just a very interesting way for them to sell Cloud of Darkness here, by uh, basically guaranteeing the bosses are going to take turns with your delay team. It's strange, I don't, I don't really understand the thought process there. But anyway, we're using Sidrain's base call to bring Xeth up, because we're trying to negotiate this HP threshold. I want to go into Force Time while they're in Force Time, ideally, just so Galif can have some you know, juiced up counters. But, uh, you know, it can, we want to, we know, we, we certainly don't want to go into force time while they're healing for like over a million health every turn. So we use Cypher Call to push them back in order to use XF and EX to push them below the threshold in order to use Keistus LD Call to finally get rid of the healing aura. That was convoluted, but we got there. Going ahead and refreshing Charlotta's buffs real quick, and then going to Crystal Dice. There's a slight, I don't know if misplay is the right word to use here, but, um, you see here, a thing with Sherlotta, in particular with Gallif, with Auron it isn't, isn't, isn't as big a deal because of how his Sentinel works, how much longer it is, but with Gallif, it's very easy for Sherlotta to run out of cover. So that's something you need to keep in mind with her because she takes so many free turns. So he's actually going to be countering a bit, but uh, when they attack her, no counter. Kind of sad. Luckily, thanks to Xdeath's debuffs and uh, Gallif's you know, mitigation, Zero damage from Scissor Grab, but, uh, you know, scary for a second, and just a little damage loss because we're not getting those free counterattacks in. You are seeing there we are getting some nuts. So we are getting some counterattack, which is nice. Although they, I think they th we missed three different potential counters there because I hadn't refreshed the cover, so that was kind of a dumb misplay on my part. We're going to hit the HP plus there to boost the gauge before going into the force, or the, not force, the burst phase with Charlotta. Um... I actually misplay slightly in that I miscount. I keep forgetting my Sherlotta isn't green, and that as a result she doesn't have the extra turn in her burst phase. So I keep doing her force time and winding up with one less turn than I, or one more turn than I should, or that I thought I would. 
Maybe it's a sign I should green her, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. The budget version seems to be doing okay for me. Um, I will say I'm enjoying her quite a bit. Very powerful character. A lot of damage, a lot of auras, which is great. Like just support plus damage. It's a, it feels overpowered to have one character be able to do so much. Um, and this is without her even being green or blue, so dang. Uh, you'll see there I actually did something else that... Uh, Probably fine. I used her LD on the last turn. This does mean a weaker burst finisher. I mean, whatever, it's not green, who cares? But the reason I did that was to get three extra uses of Chuck Staff for the rest of the fight uh, to deal with that. It's, again, not probably not super important. I could have used a Chuck Staff and just uh, gotten extra damage from the, you know, the remaining turns of the, uh, the, the force time, but trade off. I figured I was going to play a slightly long game here because. Uh, Thanks to having all X death on the team, this fight's going to take a little longer than before. I mean, not just because of the HP poison procs, but oof, there's so many of those. Um, I mean, hey, his burst effect raises the HP damage cap, that's something nice. But over a million damage with an Alma Guest, you'll have to see it. <laughs> um, one thing I will say in X death's defense, and this has been said by other people, I think, is that he's actually a pretty darn good unit outside of Force Time. He does a lot of damage, provides good mitigation. And that's a powerful force, or that's a powerful burst effect to just have her running in the background. Um, obviously, in force time, he's a little copium because his poisons don't scale, but uh, he actually does okay damage on his turns. The thing is, um, like in this fight with this team, I found that I, I spent about forty percent of the boss's health outside of force time. That's a lot of time to be spending where you, you know where it doesn't really matter that your poisons don't scale. So that kind of works out okay. Um, one could argue that maybe I'd be spending less of their health outside of Force Time if I brought a better team or better character. Um, yeah, I think that's fair. The important thing, I guess, is I enjoy the character, and uh, I don't know, I'm trying to convince myself I didn't make the wrong decision by greening a favor, right? That's <laughs> eh, sad. Um, so here we are once again, same deal as before. We're trying to get them below 20% before we go into Shalada's Force Time, just because we don't want to be wasting like calls in Force Time. Uh, you know, like, uh, yes, sure, we could push them below the threshold and then summon with brothers, but then we, we're losing out on opportunities for Galuf to get force-powered counter-attacks. So we're trying to see if we can't uh, get a little greedy here, and, jeez, their turns are stacked up. Holy cow, they went into the force time, and we're, uh, Bowser, that's a lot of... So we're gonna go ahead and refresh the buffs, take advantage of the exit burst effect a little bit, and then, um... Mm -hmm. No, we're not going to press that force button. We want to. We're tempted to. But we're not going to. We're actually going to press the summon button. So we can chuck a st or crystal generate. And we're, we're saving four chuck stats for the force time. Um, most likely you only need three. But I wanted four on the off chance that for some reason. Like, I don't know. Maybe X death was too slow. And as a result, Shalata gets four turns in there. Uh, really, f three would have been fine. I was getting greedy. So thanks to x Death's burst effect here, uh, we are able to push one of them below 20%. This is awkward. Use the Cypher Call to get rid of his healing. That pushes the other one under, and so he gets a bit of extra heal. But we have the Kiss to Space Call to deal with that healing. There we go. We have successfully navigated their healing phase. Bringing Brothers here um, ended up not being helpful. Ifrit would have been better, probably. Just because, uh, I mean, Hellfire is broken and uh, the extra attack would have helped Exeth. But, you know, obviously you want to bring that extra summon with the, or the extra delay from the summon in case Charlotta ended up being the one to, to have to delay them on her turn. Uh, you you got to sometimes play it safe. So here, we're actually, we actually used Exeth and Galuf's basic HP attacks. There, just to jack up the uh, multiplier a little bit more before we get into the, the meat of it. And the meat of it is here, four counters in a row with 300% on the HP, or on the force, whatever bonus thing. So we're gonna be dealing a nice chunky amount of damage here. Taking advantage of the fact that the bosses move a whole bunch. Gotta say, Galuf uh, still holding up really well. One of my favorite units. Just, he's super flippy, he's old, he dodges stuff. Um, probably has to deal with like, rheumatism and sad things like that, but that's what you get when you don't eat a good diet and exercise when you're young and it comes up and catches you when you're older. Uh, I don't know, he actually looks pretty spry for an old dude. Like, check this out. Look at this flip. No, not this, uh, this flip. There we go. That's, a, that's some athletic... Um, athletic senior seniority right there, I guess. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and finish things off with the Chuck Staff. Thank you for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. And, um, oh, yeah, before we go, as I said, don't forget, live stream, 7.30 Eastern, this Monday. Gonna be a blast. We hope to see you there. Anyway, adios.